hello and welcome back my name is amulli and this video is about wordpress offline installation on microsoft windows 10 so this is going to be the easiest and simplest and the quickest process to download and install wordpress and the required packages as well so that's going to be a simple easiest and quickest one for Microsoft Windows 10 hopefully for other systems as well like Mac OS and Linux okay so go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to this URL bar type bitnami.com so that's bitnami b-i-t-n-a-m-i dot com now once you are here on your browser go ahead and click on this applications tab and then please scroll down you can close this thing here at the bottom now what it does it installs WordPress with the required packages so like PHP uh, SQL and Apache the server so go ahead and okay so in case on your system if it doesn't appear this is going to be the very first one because this is most downloaded package so simply type wordpress and you'll see many of them so you can use wordpress as um, with apache or you can use wordpress with nginx okay and ssl you can see here wordpress multi-site as well so choose whichever one you want to download and install on your system so i'm going to use this wordpress which comes with apache and then you have to select the the system where you want to install it so you can use it on the cloud container locally on the computer so i'm going to use this win mac and linux click on it and scroll down and these are the downloads if you are using windows 64-bit system your system has to have 64-bit system type and then in case if you have mac os yes os x and above you can go ahead and click on this for linux users go ahead and click this one okay so since it's microsoft windows 10 i'm going to click here download for windows 64-bit it asks for an account which you don't need to have in case if you just want to download it so in case if you want to create an account for bitnami go ahead and create and sign in otherwise say no thanks just take me to the download and this should start the download okay if you're using any other browser like google chrome firefox this should start saving this download somewhere on your system so you will have to locate it and then run it now on this microsoft edge or internet explorer browser you simply get this very user friendly options you can simply run it from here without waiting for download to complete okay so go ahead and run it or just locate it and then run it you can just double click on that downloaded file and you should run it okay so it's going to download it and then run it on this system as well so it's going to take a bit longer because it's a huge package okay so once it's downloaded i'll be right back you can pause the video okay so you might have gotten that user account control window just say yes and now say select your language and say okay you can select your language as well and then say OK. And this is Bitnami WordPress stack. Say next. This is going to install WordPress and PHP my admin to manage your database as well. Okay. Obviously, it's going to download and install PHP and Apache server. Say next. And this is where it's going to be. Okay. You can manage, you can um, customize it. And this is the latest version of uh, WordPress, so you don't need to go ahead and download it from anywhere else. You have to give this 
use a real name <laughs> email address bitnami wordpress stack admin wordpress stack user creation so this could be fake could be a real one as well login user admin password is admin just to remember it okay so everything is admin 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 next login password must be must not be the same okay so let's go ahead and change it p a s s w o r d p a s s w o r d for the password uh, blog name word press apply so here we go next do you want to configure mail support gmail no i don't know what launch wordpress in the cloud with vietnami no and then say next and this is going to install the wordpress with all the required packages so if you go to wordpress.org you will come to know what i'm talking about this is a process going to take a bit longer and when you when you go to wordpress.org hit on this get wordpress voila and here you see 5.2.4 installation with requirements look at this uh, php 7.3 mysql mariadb apache nginx servers so you need three one two three okay and this is going to give you options five applications php mariadb apache wordpress and php my admin as well which is going to help you manage your sql databases and also help you learn wordpress a little bit so this will give you access to wordpress database table as well so now this is going to take a few minutes and we'll run back so it's almost done unpacking the files and all it's doing is it's installing all the packages okay so here we are it's almost done now we should get something almost a new installing mysql database initializing okay couple of minutes okay here we go so this is trying to so ex, you can execute mysql and from this command prompt as well now here you have to allow mysql to make changes on your system so now it's setting down the mysql it's been already configured and start some other process here now it's trying to set up apache the http server and you will get something like this which is a security alert you simply say allow access creating database this may take a minute so it's going to create the database as well in order to set up the wordpress for you okay so this is really handy tool the bitnami for wordpress and this makes our job the the process of installing wordpress offline on the system like microsoft windows really easy so and this is this is why it's my first pick when it comes when it comes to installing any package or cms for that matter like wordpress joomla magento uh, drupal okay so that's the way it is okay so it's done now you can go ahead and hit finish and this is going to launch here we go now you can simply say access wordpress and here is your wordpress you can go ahead and go to you can bookmark this you can go go ahead and log into your wordpress admin area as well so remember I had admin and password as a password and whether I want to save it yes so this is how you basically launch the WordPress and log into WordPress admin area as well 
so it's it's basically localhost slash wordpress okay localhost slash wordpress so you have to make note of it so this is how basically you download install wordpress offline on microsoft windows 10 so this is quickest wordpress installation process if you have any question suggestion comment you please leave in the comment section area and i'll be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye fam